Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about the actual settings within Google Tag Manager itself. So here we can see our container for paidtraffic.com. Uh, everything except for the universal analytics uh, tracking for Google Analytics came in through the import from um, technicalmarketing.guide. And I'll put a link in the description or the comments as well for that. Um, but basically the cookie bar is actually the code that shows up at the bottom of the site. The cookie remover is an event uh, to remove the cookie or a cookie setter is to set a cookie. Um, the cookie settings um, is actually the, um, the saving and the settings on the settings page. And then you have the two sample pixels and then load uh, jQuery is to load that up on all the pages. And um, the when they see the cookie settings, it's setting this scene uh, cookie the, that they've been to the settings page, and that's basically putting them in to that they've given consent to those uh, cookies as well because they they've seen them, um, and they didn't turn them off or whatever because on that page they do have the ability to turn it off. The only difference. Um, here on the universal analytics build for this was loading on all pages so it was like this load query now it's in the consent targeting trigger uh, if we look at those triggers the consent performance uh, has events set basically um, or it has a variable set so there's a do not track variable that's um, it's going to be uh, set not equal to one if it is not equal to one and consent performance equals one, meaning they've consented to it, then it's going to load that pixel or whatever um, tag is in that, uh, that trigger is going to load. Same type of thing for targeting, and here it's a do not track is not equal to one and consent targeting equals one. Um, and that's the main things here. The, the, um, the other, there are some changes that I made in the tags itself to the cookie bar. And what we'll do, I think, is uh, we'll actually show you the import. Um, that was something new to me in, in Google Tag Manager. It might be something that you haven't done as well. So just to show that, we'll go to Paid Traffic Lab, which I haven't updated yet. And so within uh, Paid Traffic Lab, um, actually, it does look like I did do it in there as well by mistake. Let's go to kevindavis.com. How about that? So on this one, it's a fresh one. Um, we have some tags in here for all website visits, 15 seconds, which is based on a timer, and then um, universal analytics, which is currently loading on all pages as well. So to bring in the code from um, from that site I mentioned, see, technicalmarketing.guide, what we do is go into your admin settings and then there's an option here to import a container um, from the from the website here. You have a little bit of video with no audio or anything explained to it, just kind of walking you through with some subtitles. And then you have this download GTM recipe. So you'd get the code that we're importing by downloading the GTM recipe. I recommend the, the updated version versus the old version. Um, there's a lot more features in this uh, version than before. And like what he says here, the, the cookie setting page, you should be able to just copy and paste this code into any WordPress site even, and it should work as well. So what we're going to do now is import it. So we have the cookie consent version 2. And so we just click on the uh, cookie consent version 2 JSON file. And we open that. And then we're going to import it into an existing work, workspace, the default workspace. And then we're going to merge it. And so instead of overwriting it, overwriting is going to overwrite my uh, existing tags and triggers. We don't want to do that. And you don't want to replace what you already have set up in Google Tag Manager. So what you want to do is merge. So it's going to overwrite existing triggers and variables. There's nothing being modified here, but just in case I'm still going to choose rename and then I hit confirm. Now, when we look at it, 
we have a lot of extra um we have our two original tags here the all website visitors 15 seconds and universal analytics and then all the rest of these are uh, new tags that were added and then under triggers we have a lot of new triggers um, the timer ones were existing ones and then variables as well um, they have all the different variables um, that it created as well in here and then it created uh, the cookie consent folder and the cookie management folder and if you click on these you can see that these are all the variables and triggers and tags that are associated with cookie consent and the ones that are associated with management there's two tags two triggers and a variable as well